All right, so a um, couple things you need to know when you're charging your Moog. Uh, first of all, uh, the AC cord plugs in under the fender here, all right? And the second thing is the master disconnect needs to be on, okay? It will not charge if it's in. So depending on uh, what options you selected when you got your Moog, or you might have uh, one of two chargers in it. So this here would be the, um, the charger that comes from China. Uh, the only way that you know that that charger has completed a full charge cycle, it's not by the gauge and the dash. You actually have to open the hood and you've got to look at the indicator to make sure that it goes solid green. Now, this charger takes up to 8 to 12 hours, I've seen, for the charge cycle to complete. Um, or to, to bring the, and that's totally based on how dead your batteries are. Uh, the reason why we're making this video is because uh, some customers or quite a few customers are having the, the moak shut out on them, like the dashes go out and they, you know, have got to get towed. And what it boils down to is it's just not charging their batteries up all the way. Um, so that's the only way you know on this style charger. Now, I've uh, from what I see, it looks like Moke is moving away from these domestically here in the U.S. because if you want to order this charger, you're like 120 day lead time. What's available in the States are the Pro Charging Systems chargers. Um, and these chargers have a lot more technology in them. Uh, they, they do a better job. Now this charger can take up to 18 hours to cut off. 